You gotta beat the champion to be the champion, all right? That's fair. He loves to play and just travels the circuit every opportunity he gets. All right, quick fold by the jeweler. And now Aaron from Philadelphia is gonna just call with a 10-7 of diamonds. And Randy Pfeiffer looks down in a nice hand, the small blind, ace queen of hearts. And he is going to raise it up to 825 to go. He's probably a little frustrated that he had king 10 of hearts last time and didn't play, uh -huh. so he's pushing. Gets a call by Aaron. Here we go with the flop. And flop comes jack 10-6. So Randy, with the gut shot straight throw, is gonna check. No continuation bet. Aaron checks his 10s. Deuce of diamonds on the turn. And now, Randy thinking maybe his ace queen is the best hand. And he is reaching for chips to bet. He said, this guy didn't bet the flop. He must not have a pair. Let me bet 975,000. And he's going to get called. Aaron, good call here. River card, four of spades. Randy Pfeiffer, the former bartender, catching none of that. Gosh, is that real? We have like jacks. Like, how can you be betting this? Well, close to 1.5 million. That's a lot of pressure on Aaron. So unreal right now. Now Aaron trying to put the pieces of this puzzle together. Randy's kind of the wild card. He's very uh, aggressive. Doesn't like to let go of pots. You know, I don't expect him to to make too many moves, but if anything can happen. Uh, this would be pretty pretty heroy. Getting a really good price. Well, it's a tough call to make here with second pair for a million and a half. He's gonna make the call, what a call it is. Holy Aaron, that's sick. I'll tell you this, Aaron Mermelstein Vance has got poker feel as good as any.